You know, there's a new royal baby coming. It's coming out of the Duchess, Kate Middleton. She is expected to give birth sometime this month. I don't know when. I think they're keeping it a secret. The royal baby, this is a very big deal for England. It's the British equivalent of a Beyonce birth, so you can understand. <laughs> It'll be the third child for Kate and Prince William, her husband, and while nobody knows the gender of the kid yet, you can bet on what the child's name will be. You can wager on it. This is how the royals make all their money. They have, their, they have kids, and then they bet on the names, and they win. <laughs> and a lot of people are interested in this stuff, so we want to have some fun with it. This afternoon, we went on the street. We asked pedestrians if they heard the royal baby's name and what they thought of it. Of course, the baby hasn't been born yet. We made all these names up, but... Did that stop people from weighing in on it? People from all over the globe? Well, let's find out in tonight's edition of Lie Witness News. We're talking to Americans about the birth of the new royal baby. Yes, What was royal your reaction baby. when you heard about that? You know what? I was extremely excited because, one, we need more babies in the world that come with joy and loving families and just excitement and just welcoming and cultural and just... They're royal. I mean, we need more royalty. I mean, I love Queen Elizabeth, but girl, we need some old relatives. And what did you think of the name Trinkle T Winterbottom? I think that Trinkle T is a good way to be, baby T. Michael, what are people saying about the new royal's name, Dumbledore Cumberbatch? What is the reaction on the street? That's right, I don't know. It's a little bit strange for me. I don't hear anything good about the, the name, and uh, I think doesn't fit for a royal baby. Normally it's Charles or normal common names. I think it's a very strange name because nobody knows the name. It's absolutely uncommon and it doesn't belong to a royal family, really. And what are people saying about it? That's really weird. They don't accept it or they don't hear they're never not, their name before. They're not liking it. They don't like it, yes, of course. What was your reaction when you learned the royals had named their new baby Vermouth McGillicuddy? My reaction was wild. I thought like they're gonna have a hard time in school pronouncing that. The kids, the teachers, so very important. Talking to people about the name of the new royal baby, they named it Thomas, but instead of an O, they used a donut emoji. Why would you think Kate did that? Maybe to seem more hip, since Meghan Markle uh, is about to marry Prince Harry, so that could be it. Trying to mix it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. It's different, and if they like it, we'll support it. What is the reaction on the street to the new royal baby's name, Humperdinck Patchy Bottom? I think, I think it's, a, it's a beautiful reaction. I think it's a new life and it's coming into the world. It's a beautiful thing, you know what I'm saying? Are people excited about the name? Definitely, for what sure. What are they saying about it? They love it. It's a real British, real, real cultural name. You're from Germany? Yeah. So what were your thoughts when they brought the baby out onto the terrace? and they threw out the golden goblet of the baby's urine onto the crowd. Is it time to put that tradition to bed, knowing what we know about science? Uh, it's, dif it's difficult. Some, it's, some it's people say yes, yes. It's, 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 it's uh, everybody has to do what he wants and, and how he wants. Did you see when they threw out the goblet of the royal urine onto the crowd? You saw yes, that? Yes, yes. They want it. <laughs> It's exciting, isn't it? Yes, yes. Is there anyone's urine that you throw onto the crowd in Germany? Yes, yeah, some, someone, but not, not everybody. This is the golden chalice of the babe's urine Here. that's thrown out onto the crowd. I'm yeah, sure you've no, seen that. Yeah, no, thank you. No, thank you. I mean, I, it, I'm sure it's got its... Uh, it's well attended. Yeah, but I don't think it's sanitary. I'm sure you saw Elton John perform the circumcision. Was that a wise move or it's just fun? Well, for him it was fun, I guess. What did, you, did you see that? Yeah, I actually saw a glimpse of it. And how did you think Elton John did with the circumcision? I think it was a pretty good action from him being the first time. Yeah. If it was his first time. If it was his first time, true, true. But it looked like his first time anyway. I don't know if you saw, but John Lennon did a tribute concert for the baby. Did you know he was such a good xylophone player? I actually don't know what a xylophone is. I just thought he played guitar. You know. And did you see his, and, and banjo? Did you know he was such a wonderful banjo player? I did. He's really good. Would you cool. like to congratulate John Lennon on his wonderful banjo playing? Congratulations, right John Lennon. You're amazing. Well done. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. He's, rude. he's not. He's not the best performer, but he's something else. He tricked me. I can't. I'm a tourist in your country. You tricked me. Oh my god. 
<laughs> I'm jet lagged. I didn't think. It's all right. I'm not really British, so. <laughs> oh, you had a good effect. Oh, you're really good. Good at your job. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. If you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Uh-oh. Uh, uh.